It is that time again. Barrow Katia has reappeared on PC. He will be located on the Strata Relay, which is Earth, on PlayStation 4, Chrono Relay Saturn, Xbox One, Strata Relay on Earth, and Switch, Koopa Relay, which is Eris. So let's jump down and take a look and see what he has on PC first of all. He has brought nothing, it appears. <laughs> okay. So, now you have there we go. The Galaxian Vandal. This was an event weapon. Actually a pretty good event weapon. If you do not have this, this is actually worth picking up. Astral Twilight. Rare Stance for Glaives. Tempo Royale. Some Rare Stance for Heavy Blades. Primed Slip Magazine. Ma uh, 55 Magazine Capacity for Pistol. And Primed Pistol Gambit. Plus 187% crit chance for pistol too. There is the Katia Sentinel mask. Well, kind of explains itself that there, doesn't it? There is the Katia Sentinel wings and the Katia Sentinel tail. Honestly, I still prefer the wings to those. There is the Excalibur with the arc wing noggle, one of. There is a second one, but I can't remember where that one actually is offhand. There is the Bronze Kavat Bust. There is the Prisma Gorgon. Ooh, the Galaxian may actually be a little bit better than the uh, Prisma Gorgon here. Both well worth picking up. The Cockleist Sugatra, just a melee dangly. There is the Prisma Latron Shoulder Plate. Uh, just one, which is weird. There is the Prisma Latron Leg Plates. This time it's actually showing two, and it just says leg plate. And of course the Prisma Latron chest plate. Actually kind of growing to like these the more that they turn up. There is the Prisma Veritux arc wing melee weapon. If you don't have it worth picking up, I used this thing for absolutely ages. There is nothing wrong with it. It works really well. There is the, wow, Quanta Vandal. Hmm. This... I'll still go for the Galaxian than these because this has been back several times before. There is the Redeemer Elixir skin. Just a skin. Honestly, it just sucks that it starts there and you've got to wait for it to rotate round. The Barrow Katia Glyph. The Skimitar Sidonia skin. The different colour options on that are just endless. The Katia Atmos Oculus for your operator. The Katia earpiece, again for your operator, a 3 day affinity booster, and Sands of Anaris blueprint. Heading over to console really quickly, we have the, uh, the Katia dome stick drone. It's the, and I cannot remember the name of it, the rumba for your landing craft. I don't regret buying that guy, though 700 Ducats is still a bit much. The Primed Expel Corpus, Primed Expel Corrupted, Primed Expel Grenier, and Primed Expel Infested. These are the pistol mods. There is the Machete skin. It's it's okay. I've seen worse, but it's about time the Machete got some love. But this has been around for quite a while. It just makes the Machete look so much better. There is the Tigress Elixir skin. Again... It is just a skin for the Elixis, not, not for the Elixis, for the Tigris, not an actual Tigris. There is, however, the Supra Vandal, which is a great primary, but there is also the Volcar Wraith, which is also a pretty good primary. Choosing between those two just really kind of depends on if you have one or the other. The Supra Vandals are mastery rank 14. The Volcar Wraith, however, is a 7, so pick them up in order. The Volcar Wraith is actually a pretty good sniper rifle anyway. There is the Prisma Hecate Sandana. Do love the effect on Prisma weapons. The Pack Leader Emblem, which is just a badge for your shoulder. The Prisma Javier Chestplate. I never made my mind up if I actually like that or not. Depends on the frame you are putting it on. There is the... Prisma Avia shoulder plates. They, I do like. Then there is obviously the ankle plates that go with it. They, I also like. 
Then there is Prisma Shade, who will come with his weapon, and if you run a lot of stealth missions, is a really good Sentinel. 3D Credit Booster, there is Limbo's Immortal Skin, and there it goes, which gives you lots of different colour options for Limbo. Can be used on Limbo Prime. The Nexus Gene Masking Kit, which comes with the four different colours, and the actual fur pattern, which hopefully it will let me actually get into, or it's just going to completely, there it goes. Which I wish it would show us like this more often, but I'm glad you can actually go in and have a look at it a bit better now. Then there is the Skimitar Prisma skin. Again, I love the Prisma skins because if you just sit there and watch it, the flowing motion of that looks really good. All Prisma skins do that though. The Eminence colour palette, there is the Sands of Anoris blueprint and the Fear Path Ephemera. As always, everything that you see here he will bring back, so if you cannot get on before he leaves on Sunday, there's no need to panic because everything he brings will cycle back through eventually. Unless you pick up the digital pack and then a Tenocon when he turns up, you will gain access to pretty much everything he has brought anyway. But for now, we'll leave this off here, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.